Welcome to James's Model Railway. Now I'm turning on my layout. <coughs> right. So the last time, um, my last video was a help, a plea for help, so I could understand the operation of this point. Uh, I have now got round to understanding it and working it out. Um, so, for simpler simplarity, um, I've marked each point. There's 15 and 16. So if I change point 15, it changes the polarity on point 16. Now, what I wasn't quite, what took me a bit of time to understand was, if I was changing the point on 15, and it was changing the polarity to the 16 point, what was happening is, I could still run from, say, this track here, to either of these sides. But the minute I change point 16, it shuts off one of these polarities. So I finally understood what was going on. Now, this is whether it's a, 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 a whether I really did or not, because <laughs> we're now about to run a locomotive over it, and we're going to see if I really did understand it or if I didn't. So let's see and have a bit of a laugh with me. I'm just making sure they're both connected. So fingers crossed, this should go straight, straight over. I don't know. It's a bit. Jank at the minute, it's been a bit cold just recently. It should go straight over. Nope, I shorted it because I done something wrong. So let's change point 16. There we go. Right, point 16 has now been changed. My locomotive should now go over it and straight across. So we, we got that one, yeah. So if I want to go down here, I don't change point 16, I change point 15, I believe. So, if we go to switch, we go into 15, I'm sorry if I'm talking away from the camera, it's because I'm looking at the controller. So I've now changed point 15, which should now mean point 16 should operate, and it should go down there. So we'll just put the locomotive back on the track. Feeling a bit sluggish. A few dead points on the track just because of, uh, uh, well, that's the point that's not wired in, so that's why that's just stopped. But, yeah, locomotive's a little bit cold, so I may have to keep a heater on in the garage. And the track's getting dirty as well. So, locomotive goes straight over. Now, if I change point 16, it stops it from coming through here, and it then starts putting it through here. And it's likewise if I had it the other way round. Uh, so again, get it onto the line. So if I change point 15, it stops you from going coming through here, but will put you through here. I think the whole problem was I was over complicating the simplest of tasks. So it is so easy. I've got the points in line, I haven't even got them facing each other, I've got them in line. And they work fine. It was just uh, me myself being quite well. I don't know, overcomplicating the, the the job that I had to do. That was I just overcomplicated it. To be honest, that's the only thing I can really say. Um, I am going to have dropper wires coming from. I'll turn track power off. I'm going to have dropper wires from this point, or well, I've got it from there and here. So there's two drops here. Uh, they usually say to on the instructions it says to isolate the whole track and power it through the um, droppers on here, but uh, uh, powering it from these two droppers does the same thing as if you have two droppers here powering it. So there's no uh, there's the only difference is I think if you had a point attached to this then you might want to have a dropper on it, uh, uh, insulate it. But the only point on it is this one and. This point needs to be powered, and I can't power it unless it's powered here, so that's the reason for having it. Um, yeah, so that's how far I've got with that, that's all cool. And yes, I finally fixed it, so there is, I did get it, and thank you for all the comments, I did read them, and actually one of them did really help, well actually two or three of them did. Um, it helped me understand things anyway, and uh, yeah, so that's all cool, it's working. 
thank you everyone for helping and uh, I'll catch you in the next video which will probably be not my Christmas special but what I received for my Christmas from friends and family and uh, yeah so we'll catch you in the next video. Ta-ra!